Hi everybody and welcome to episode 117 of the TV Knitting Podcast. My name is Sharon and I'm also known as Stitch Mistress pretty much everywhere on the internet. So hi, yeah, it is Friday, July 15th and I'm recording in the late morning. So yeah, we got back from vacation just before the 4th of July and it has been insanely busy since then, getting adjusted to being home and whatnot, unpacking, and we just had a lot of summery things to do to get ready, you know, for the summer holiday, because we're off for two months. So I also had a work project that I was doing with a coworker, a friend of mine, and I'm finishing up that project later today. So after that's done, unless we do another project, which we might do, then I'm good. But I'm almost feeling like the last two weeks, I haven't been in my summer mode, you know what I mean? Where I can sit and relax in the afternoons and, and knit and like lay in the pool. I've been kind of running around, but that's just, yeah, I think that's just because we went on vacation right after school let out. So, vacation. Vacation was fantastic. We had a lovely time. One of the things I've been wanting to do is edit the footage that I took of our vacation, and I'm in the process of doing that. And it takes a long time because I have a couple of hours worth of footage, and then editing that down to three episodes of like nine to 15 minutes, it's a lot. So, it's fun. I'm enjoying it because I enjoy editing. So I'm in the process of doing that. And watch for those. They're going to be vlog style, and they are Disney for adults. You know, I, there's a little bit of knitting content. Not a lot, but a little bit. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so the other thing I've been doing, I've been really concentrating on my summer workouts, which I do about two miles of running every day and another maybe two to three miles of walking and that takes up a lot of time 90 minutes two hours or more of my day you know I kind of break up some of it and do some of it at the end of the day but I like to take advantage of the beautiful weather so the other thing I've been doing is I've been playing Pokemon Go have you guys played this game I mean you must have heard of it because it's pretty much sweeping the country and if you're watching me on YouTube, your, you know, your computer tech savvy, you've heard about this game. So the game came out two weeks ago and I've been playing every day and it's so enjoyable because I do so much outside workouts in the summer. So for me, it's like the perfect game because I can walk and, and do the game and listen to my podcast and it's awesome. It's a little embarrassing because I'm a 59 year old woman <laughs> out on the rail trail playing Pokemon Go, but that's okay. It also gets my daughter out because she's at a desk job and not really motivated to walk after work, but she's been excited for this game for like 10 years. She told me about this game like 10 years ago. And I remember her telling me about it, and I'm like, okay, you know, in one ear and out the other. And it's sweeping the country, and it's super fun, and I'm obsessed. So, that's what I've been up to. Tell me what you guys have been up to down in the comments this summer. It's been an awesome summer so far, and I hope the rest of the summer goes as well as this one. So let's get started with the show because I'm sitting here and I'm very hot <laughs> because it's, let's see, it's 84 degrees and a little bit humid. So yeah, let me show you. I actually have two finished objects to show you. I almost have three finished objects, but I'll show you the next one next time I record next week. But the first one, in case you haven't seen on my neck, is this stunning shawl designed by Boo Knits. I've been working on it since last fall, so I've shown it quite a bit. But now it's done, 
it's blocked the ends aren't woven in but it's too hot to wear it anyway so. anyway it came out awesome so here it is it's huge well not like it's not overwhelming for me I, I actually really like it it's a crescent shape and it's I thought it might be too heavy with all these beads because it has I want to say 1500 ish beads in it maybe more and beads can weigh down a garment but uh yeah it's fine so I just love it it's gorgeous and it came out better than my wildest dreams it blocked out fairly easily the bind off was a pico bind off oh my gosh it took me forever i want to say it probably took me six hours maybe more to do that bind off i'll show that to you right now crazy because it's picos and you had to get these picos centered with the beads here with these motifs that you pull out and block and that wasn't easy it was not easy to do and they're not all centered but <laughs> well they're 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 centered enough that no one would notice but me if I looked at it really closely I noticed but I was not gonna rip that out and redo it uh-uh no 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 and I, I'm a ripper. I'll rip anything, but not that. So, it's beautiful. Again, I don't know if I mentioned the name. It's called Peace Blossom. And the yarn is Woolen Vine Yarns and her lace weight base. And the colorway is Angry Orchard, which... Can we talk about this colorway? It's stunning. Look at the detail. And it's a perfect, perfect marriage of yarn and dye job and pattern. I'm super thrilled with it, if you hadn't known already. Done! Maybe it'll get cool this summer and I can wear it out to eat or something with my hubs. We'll see. So... Speaking of going out to eat, I'll insert some pictures here of my husband and I, when we were in Disney, we went out to some nice restaurants and I wore my Mystic Star shawl and oh my gosh, that shawl's beautiful. It came out gorgeous and it was beautiful with my outfit. So you'll be able to see these in here. I posted them on Instagram and I think I got the most likes of anything I've ever posted. It, that shawl came out lovely and I love it to pieces, but not shawl weather. Not at all. <laughs> it's okay. We're all good. Okay. So the next project that I finished, I actually started this on the car ride down to catch the airplane and you'll see the the socks in progress in my blog and I finished the socks maybe five days after I got home awesome it was like two week project which was amazing I usually take a lot longer to finish socks but look at these I love them So the yarn is Jinx Yarns in the Champagne and Confetti colorway. And I know that she still has some of this colorway left. I know she's bringing it to SSK next week. And maybe if she has some left over, she'll put it up on her site, on her Etsy site after SSK. So do some stocking of Jinx Yarns if you want this color. Love it. It is just soft shades of teal, yellow, pinks with speckles, and I adore it. It's lovely. 
these socks just knit themselves basically because I've actually been kind of in a sock mood I have so much on my mind and on my plate right now that socks are just easy to pick up and go and knit I can knit them while I'm editing I can knit them in the car I can knit them you know when I'm just tired at night and it's too hot to pick up a giant sweater so I'm kind of in a sock place and I haven't cast on a new pair yet because I have another pair that I'm finishing up let me finish talking about these sorry I told you about the yarn the pattern is just a plain vanilla pattern it's pretty much my go-to although I started this time cuff down and I've been using I've been knitting toe up socks lately but this one I decided to knit cuff down cuz yeah change it up a little so I cast these on did the cuff 64 stitches 2 by 2 rib here at the top and then my heel my favorite heel fish lips kiss heel and then I did the foot classic toe which is 50 per you you decrease until you have 50% of your stitches left and you decrease every other round until you have 50% of your stitches left and then you decrease every round until you get the amount of stitches that works for you as far as the width of your toe which for me is usually 16 stitches eight on each needle and then you kitchener it closed so yeah, that's this one. And anyway, so I decided I wanted to finish my works in progress socks after finishing these. And let me put, I did finish one and I'm gonna put it on the sock blocker now. And these socks are the Gales Art Sock Blank, Extreme Sock Blank Socks. And I love how they came out. Well, this is just the one, but look how pretty. And it's even different on the other side. I mean, it's just, beautiful. So I started the second sock and these socks I'm knitting toe up fish lips kiss heel because you can do that you can put it into toe up or top down and knit up the leg two by two rib so I started the second one and I have almost the whole foot done within a couple days which is awesome it's amazing how socks get finished when you work on them because I tend to not work on them very much I tend to work on other things but like I said, I'm kind of in a sock mood. So yeah, I have one foot on this one. Almost ready to start the heel. And they're amazing. And once you block these out, they, they flatten out so nice and it, the yarn is just lovely. You know, it's not a beefy base, but I like it because it fits in your shoes nicely it's lovely so I'm looking forward to having these finished for the winter and the box of socks cal which I'm trying to catch up with this is pair six for the year and I know I'm a little behind because it's July so as soon as I finish these I'm gonna cast on another one and really try to get that one done we'll see and I'll show you the yarn next time because hopefully I'll have it cast on okay works in progress so last week it was cooler a bit than it is now so I picked up my sweater by Hohi Locatelli the big old coat and I'm getting there I have three inches left to add to the body 
and I went to wind yarn the other day and I have three inches to add to the body and two sleeves and yeah you know where this is going right I only had two skeins left that's not enough so I got this yarn at my LYS and I work there so I essentially get it for free not really but she likes to pay me in yarn so that's cool and I get a really good discount so I remember not seeing any more of this color on her shelves so I'm like oh man I'm gonna have to have her order it or I'll have to order it from somewhere else and pay full price god forbid anyway so I went there the other night to teach my class got there a little early and she has the cubbies full of the yarn and I didn't see it and she has them organized by color so the bottom cubby had all of the tans and the golds in it so I said let me pull all of this out I'm sure she loved me when she came back in the store I mean I put it back but anyway I pulled it all out two skeins pop out it's a yarn shop miracle yay now the downside to it is they're not the same dye lot because I bought a bag of this yarn if I use these I'm gonna have to alternate because here's the original color dye lot and then these two I mean you probably can't see a tremendous difference on the camera this one's a little bit more heathery so what I'd have to do is I'd have to alternate. Now that I'm looking, this is a little looks a little lighter. So it's not bad though. So I'd have to alternate, but it shouldn't be too bad on the arms. So better not than not having any yarn left at all and not being able to finish the project. It's going okay. Like I had to rip a couple of. I had to rip out a whole repeat because I messed up. It's got a pattern to it and I must have been tired and started on the wrong pattern and yeah, this stuff happens. Okay, so the only other work in progress I wanted to show you is my Martina Bem Club yarn pattern and that is Snowflake Party. And I brought it to Florida with me to work on when I was away. And I really didn't work on it much, and you'll see. But the reason was, I was so busy with vacation things that, that I didn't have enough brain power to work on this because it is a pattern. You know, these little lace things you have to really pay, kind of a, pay attention to. So I worked on socks instead, but I did cast it on um, during the plane ride home. And the yarn is the kit yarn, and it is Zauberwise Merino Seed, 400 meters. If you want to see the yarn, I think I showed it a couple episodes ago. But here it is, a little bit knit up. And I decided to add beads to the little snowflakes. And I copied somebody on Ravelry for that. So, yeah. They're super pretty. I love, I love it. And I actually really want to work on this. The yarn is not overly stretchy yarn because it has silk in it. It's got merino and silk, but it knits up into this nice fabric. So it's gonna be really drapey and beautiful. And yeah, so that's hopefully gonna be a successful project. I'll probably work on that more after I finish my other Martina Bem project, Trillion, which is almost close to being done. So yeah. That's Snowflake Party, and you can't 
get the pattern yet. It'll probably be available in another few months. So, but I love Martina Bem. I love, I love her patterns. I think she's fantastic. And it's kind of funny. On my last show, I was debating which one to bring with me. So I wound the yarn for this one because I knew I wanted to bring this one. And I was going to bring my second club shipment, which was this giant wrap out of lace weight. And if you want to see the yarn for that, just watch my other show. I think two shows ago. And so I went to look at the pattern because I thought, well, let me look at the pattern before I wind this yarn just to see what the pattern's like. First instruction, cast on 100 stitches using Judy's Magic Cast On. Now, I know how to new, do Judy's Magic Cast On. I've taught it to people. It's not the easiest cast on, but it's fun. It's a great cast on. But I normally only cast on 12 stitches, maybe 16 on each needle. I've never cast on 50. And the thought of doing that in a hotel room or on an airplane when my I'm so distracted by other things, no. That one stayed home. It, I just couldn't even imagine. So, But it's going to be great when I start it. I'm looking forward to it, but I need time to sit down and focus to do that initial cast on. And I know it's kind of a different construction too, so I, I really need time to read through it and figure it out. So not a good travel project for me anyway okay so that's it for the knitting the day after i came back from our vacation was the start of tour de fleece Ooh, a hummingbird just went by gosh they're fast i love them i got a little scared because I, I thought it was a big bug but it was a hummingbird anyway i'm distracted now i can't i don't know oh tour de fleece so normally I am a tour de fleece fail because I'm always traveling this time of year and I don't do well with getting things done on, on deadlines because I'm on planes, trains, and automobiles. Tour de fleece is not a spinning spin along that I really want to participate in fully, like join a team and that kind of stuff with pressure, no. So the goals for me this year were just my self-imposed goals. So really what I wanted to do was finish that long-term project that I started during last year's Tour de Fleece that you've been seeing on my Hanson and do some spindle spinning. So interestingly enough, oh my goodness, it must be an omen because this is a hummingbird spindle. Isn't that weird that I was just talking about hummingbirds and this is a hummingbird spindle? This spindle is by Jenkins. It is a big leaf maple spindle. It is an Aegean and it has a hummingbird on it. So it's one of my favorites. This is a work in progress that has been going on for two years. not cool but i want to finish it maybe not during tour de fleece but definitely during stash dash and i haven't picked it up i don't really i have this much left that's sad so i mean to my credit i was using it for demonstration purposes when i was teaching at rhinebeck how to do turkish spindling so there's that but I want to finish this because it's gorgeous, it's beautiful, and I can't wait to see how it turns out. So yeah, that's my Tour de Fleece plans. Oh, and one more thing, I doubt I'll get to this because I think there's only a week left, but um, Joanna from Knit Spin Farm said that if you finish a project with her fiber, and post it on Instagram and tag her. She has prizes for that. And so I picked this out. Isn't this fun? I picked this out of my stash. I love her. 
bats. They're just beautiful. This one is called Fuzzy Monster. And yeah, it is my colors. Oranges and purples. Big surprise. But it's beautiful. I can't wait to open it up because I'm sure it has all sorts of yummy sari silk and lovely things inside. You know what? I'm going to open it up right now so you can see. Ooh, it's so pretty. Such a surprise when you open up bats. So I think I'm just going to spin this. See? Long draw on my matchless. I haven't worked it. This is sari silk right here. See that? Those strands right there? Sari silk. So I think I'm going to spin this on my matchless and just do some fun long draw spinning, which is long overdue. I need a palette cleanser. So maybe I'll put this on the wheel today, maybe this evening, because it's fun. Maybe spin it up into like a bulky or something to get it done and be pretty. I don't know what it'll be. Mittens. I don't know. A baby hat for a baby who would hand wash things. I don't knit for babies. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so that's another plan that I have. And now that I open that up, I want to get to it. Although it's kind of hot, touching it is like, eesh. touching fiber right now in the 90 degree heat and high humidity is kind of rough, but acquisitions. So I really haven't been buying much, but I have a couple things to show you. So I'm going to tell you a little story about signature needles. So I want to like signature needles so, so much. And I ordered two sets back in the spring. You probably saw it on my show. One of them I even had monogrammed and I had ordered the um, DPN sets for socks and for blanket making. And after using them, on a couple of projects, I decided not for me. And the reason for that is I don't like the stiletto tips. They hurt my hands because they poke. And I'm just not crazy about it. And they don't make their DPNs in any other tip. So their straight needles, they make in a blunt tip. Well, they make in a midi tip and then a blunt tip. So I de-stashed the two sets of DPNs on their on the their group in Ravelry and this lovely girl bought them and I said and I gave her a discount on the ones that had my Ravelry name on it and she was so nice she says well I'll just remember who sold them to me she didn't mind the the monogram I felt like kind of an idiot selling something with my Ravelry name on it but anyway Signature had a sale about a month ago and I decided to try the single points for my blanket. Now I ordered, I had ordered these wooden ones and they're nice, I like them, but they're a little bit too pointy for me and they were hurting my hands. And I'm not a big, huge fan of the wooden needles. So I got these beautiful size two, 2.75 millimeter needles and these are in the midi point so if you can see up here close on the camera the the points are not as sharp as the stilettos they're just a little bit duller i want to say like the addies which is what i prefer to use my my go-to needle are addy turbo addy rockets with the blue cords, I love them. They're my favorite. And these are more similar to that. And they, they're not like needle sharp. So I'm gonna use them for my blanket, but I'm not knitting on it currently. I finished off a square with it the other day and I love them, love, love them. So I might have these monogrammed, I'll see. So, so that was one purchase that I'm really happy about, but I'm not working on this blanket as of now because it's not gonna count for stash dash. All right, so that's one acquisition. The other acquisition actually is a purchase I made through a Ravelry group and 
it's a group where you can swap yarn scraps or buy brand new yarn scraps from dyers and the person who runs the group runs this whole thing I forget the name of the group I'll put a link in the YouTube um, notes down below so I ordered this set of mini skeins and I have I haven't opened them this is an unwrapped segment here they are and let's see what they are Ooh, this is perfect oh my goodness look sock yarn swappers that's the name of the group in the deep hue is the dyer in the deep hue C is the dyer 20 yards each unnamed colorways rainbow gradient <gasps> this is going to look so beautiful in my blanket I love these colors oh my goodness and I have 30 of these I'm not going to sit there and count them right now. Maybe I'll sit there and count them now and I'll let you know how many there are. Hold on. Not 30, 20, but beautiful. Oh my gosh, speckly, gorgeous. I couldn't be more thrilled because I'm not a huge fan of like the darker colors. I like bright, happy colors. These are going to look gorgeous in my blanket and I'm going to have to incorporate them with some darker colors too. So I don't have one section that's all this pretty rainbow color. <laughs> so, oh, I love these. Really happy. They'd make awesome socks too. Imagine doing this rainbow gradient. Oh, pretty. But no. Nope. They're going to be in my blanket. I want to work on that blanket so bad. But I have to wait. Okay, I have one more thing to show you and then we're done. So Lillian from Hub City Fibers on Etsy contacted me and she said that she had some handmade stitch markers made with German beads. And she sent me some of these for a giveaway. And she put them in these cute little jelly jars. Hub City Fibers is her store. And they're beautiful. This is one set. And what I'll do is I'll probably mix them up when I give them away. I'll, I'll give away two sets and I'll just mix them up. This beautiful flower with the bead. Just gorgeous. Love them. So, yeah, that's going to be a part of the giveaway that for my knit along that I'm hosting and that knit along is TV Knitting Tales. You still have time to enter. Just go read the instructions in the TV Knitting Podcast group and enter. I mean even the chatter thread counts so if you put a chatter in it saying well I thought about doing this but I'm not going to finish that counts so you're good to go. And Lillian was kind enough to send me some beautiful, beautiful hand spun minis for my blanket. And these are gorgeous. And they're going to go with these so nicely. See, these are a little darker, so they'll set off this. Love these. Thank you, Lillian. And I will let you know how they knit up, but I probably won't be knitting with them until the end of August, but beautiful. Thank you so much, Lillian. That was so nice of you. And I will put a link to Lillian's shop down below in the YouTube description box. Okay, so that's it for the show. I hope you guys had a great start to your summer. I know I've had a great start to my summer, and hopefully the rest of your summer will go well. I plan on recording weekly and posting some vlogs. Watch out for my Disney vlogs. They should be coming very soon if not up already before I post this and I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you next week. Cheers!